After a perfect 10 from their senior leader, second-ranked LSU proving again it's number one in the very tough SEC for gymnastics, taking the first ever regular season conference championship by beating third-ranked Florida. The Morehouse Tigers are going for their 22nd win of the season. HBCU Game Day will bring you the latest. I'm Wilson Jackson here for HBCU Game Day. The Morehouse Tigers got the win against Clapton Panthers ending their 16-game winning streak. The Tigers got off to a sluggish start despite trailing only once in the game. The Panthers' Timothy Christian got an early block on Tigers' Michael O'Meara as he drove to the basket for a layup, setting the defensive tone for Claflin. Then Panthers trapped Tigers' Jordan Wallace in the corner to continue its strong defensive stand. But the Tigers would find their groove. Moving the ball around the court, Tigers' leading scorer Tarius Walker drained a three-pointer at the buzzer, giving Morehouse some momentum on offense. The Tigers led the Panthers 36-33 at the half. In the second half, Morehouse took control and never looked back. The Panthers struggled to score from the field at times and committed careless turnovers that led to easy transition points for the Tigers. Claflin, however, would not give up. But in the end, Morehouse was too much as the Tigers defeated the Panthers 86-75, claiming the top spot in the Syac Conference with the victory. And Tyrus Walker, uh, he hit his average. He had 27, 27 points tonight. Uh, they kind of fell asleep a little bit, but they had just enough in the end. I just I always knew how to stay poised. I knew if I don't do so good the first half, I knew the second half was going to be a miracle, you know. I just That's what I practice. I practice on playing in fatigue when I know, you know, the other guys, they fatigue, so I just go at them, and I just know how to play like that. First half, he didn't get his he didn't get his shots like he wanted to. In the second half, it's like pretty much what we said. He came out the second half, started hitting shots, started getting in rhythm, and the offense just took off from there. So, what made you choose um, Southern Miss for your undergraduate experience? Um, upon my visit, like I really enjoyed the environment. The people here were really welcoming. They really made me feel like I was at home. Uh, I really wanted my family to be able to come see me play, my old coaches and things like that, and I really loved the atmosphere when I came to visit. You've seen Morehouse, you've seen Clark Atlanta, uh, you got a taste of Claflin and Benedict. Those are the four big dogs in the SIAC. Is this Morehouse's tournament to lose in the SIAC? In some ways it is, but then in some ways it's still up for grabs to a degree because when you have a 17-point lead, you know, it doesn't matter what division you're in, you still have to maintain that lead. If they give up a lead like that in the tournament, they might not necessarily win. So they need to, you know, continue to um, continue to improve and then also make the shots and then also continue to play good defense because, like I said, in the tournament, it's going to make a big deal. The major point at hand of what we're saying is, we said could Dwayne Wade win that championship if he had to. Who else could you put Shaq? down there and he could win with the championship? If Shaq is not down, the thing you're failing to realize is, Dwayne Wade, yes, he averaged plus 30 in that whole series. But without Shaq down there, he there is no other offensive viable option on that team. Jason Williams, Anton Walker, are you serious? Dude. Alonzo Mourning, are you serious? You're going gonna, gonna to put the ball in their hands and say, give me a bucket because Dwayne Wade can't score 50. He can't average okay. 50. So what Shaq scored? 15, 20 points in each of Excuse one of me. those games. Let me, let me, let me, let me no, correct give you. Give me the stats. So, give in, the me four, the stats. in the four games that they won, games two through six, when they came back to beat the Dallas Mavericks, okay. Shaq had 16, 11, and 5, 17, 13, and 3, 18, 12, and 1, and 9, 12, and 1. He, aver he averaged a double double in those four games that they won the series, okay. and he needs Shaq. On. Go back and look at Dwayne Wade's stats. 42, 13, and 2. 36, 6, and 3. 43, 4, and 4. Oh, 36, 10, and 5. 43? This he shot 28 times. Okay, but he had to. No, he didn't. Come on, Julius. Are you serious? He's this is not the same Shaq that was dominant in L.A. Jameis Winston is telling girls to be silent. For those who may not know who haven't read the story, so he was giving like a motivational speech. And from that motivational speech, it looked as if some people were not paying attention, essentially. And so... Um, he asked the guys to stand up and he said all my young boys stand up the ladies sit down Winston said but all my boys stand up we're strong right and then we're strong we're strong right all my boys tell me one time I can do anything I can put my mind to now a lot of boys aren't supposed to be soft-spoken you know what I'm saying one day y'all are gonna have a very deep voice like this one day you'll have a very very deep voice but the ladies they're supposed to be silent polite gentle my men me and I are supposed to be strong. I want y'all to tell me what the third root of life is. I can do anything I put my mind to. Stand. So the girl, one of the girls turned around and said, well, I'm strong too. 